Hey, ICC friends, it's your girl, Xaviera, and I am here with a review of Swarm, the highly anticipated limited series from Janine Neighbors and Donald Glover. Let me begin by saying I had no idea what I was going into with this series, and that's because the synopsis and the plot or whatever you want to call it was so heavily guarded. But what I can tell you is once I found out what was going on, I was not ready. So let's begin by addressing the elephant in the room. This series is obviously based on a one and only Queen Bee, Beyonce and her legion of fans known as the Beehive. So much so that every single episode begins with the following disclaimer. This is not a work of fiction. Any similarities to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is intentional. And what do bees do in a hive? They swarm, baby. So let's get to the cast. Swarm stars Dominique Fishback as Dre, a young woman whose obsession with this Beyonce-like pop star named Naja takes a dark turn and sends her on an unexpected cross-country journey. Chloe Bailey stars in the series as Dre's sister Marissa and Marissa has dreams of one day becoming a makeup artist to the stars. Damson Idris stars as Khalid, Marissa's boyfriend. Throughout the series we are treated to a number of special guest appearances but I was most impressed with Paris Jackson and Billie Eilish who I didn't recognize until the credits started rolling. Dominique Fishback puts on an acting clinic in this series. Give her all the things and mine. Dominique's portrayal of Dre will drag drag you deep into a world of obsession, mental illness, loss, fear, violence, longing for acceptance. The girl good, real good. Chloe Bailey did a great job as well. Her character Marissa kind of served as a ray of light that could always penetrate Dre's darkness and chaos. Now at South by Southwest, Chloe Bailey talked about how Damson Idris made her comfortable while shooting their sex scene. Baby, when you see that sex scene, you're going to know exactly why that child was sitting down to the South by Southwest trying to explain early. Now Damson role as Marissa's boyfriend kind of pissed me off. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. And I'll let y'all go ahead and do your own assessment on that one. Now Swarm offers viewers seven episodes that kind of feels like a seven course meal. So much like Donald Glover's hit series Atlanta, each episode has the ability to stand alone, sort of like an anthology series, but they all come together to tell a full story. Now blood and violence ain't your thing. I would highly suggest that you go ahead and skip this series because it's violent, brutally violent. So grab your clutchable pearls and your prayer cloth before watching. My only complaint about Swarm is that I felt like it left me hanging. I felt like I was on this like captivating road trip and then three quarters of the way the car just stops and they tell me I gotta get out. Trip's over. When I finished episode seven of Swarm I literally thought Prime Video forgot to send me episode eight. Now does that take away from the experience of watching the series? Nope. I actually watched the series in its full entirety twice and I caught so much stuff I missed the first go round. Now the Beehive is either gonna love Swarm or they're gonna drag Donald Glover to hell. There is no in between. Be sure to check out Swarm on Prime Video all seven episodes drop on Friday, March 17th. Now, after watching the series, be sure to come back and let me know if you agree with my assessment of Swarm. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you loved it. Let me know if you hated it. But I just want to hear your thoughts on this series because baby, this is, the people's going to be talking. They're going to be talking about this one. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.